Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're really well. So here I am with today's pick a card reading, which is their holiday message for you. Now I know it's a little bit early. I'm probably going to do others running up to um, Christmas, but we have gone past Thanksgiving, so it's kind of like, woo, it's all holiday time now. So yeah, the Christmas songs are on the radio, so it's all fair game for a holiday message reading. So I've got a couple of oracle cards, a few Rider right Wait cards for each group. If you would like a private reading with me guys, please look in the description box below. 20 pounds, 20 minutes and you get your reading in 24 hours. So I hope you are good today. Thank you for anyone new. Hi to everyone returning. And um, please join me on social media etc. It's all in the description below. Um, I'm reading it intuitively, I'm trying to remember because I never say what I need to say and then I turn the first group over and then I have to say it three or four times and it's really annoying for everybody who watches the whole thing because I repeat myself. So I'm trying to remember now what I need to say. Um, it's intuitive, um, that's it really and it's kind of like, it's coming from more like the higher deeper selves whichever way you want to look at it their higher self their deeper self their core self their true self okay so their personality self might not always show this okay so this is like their holiday message from their like higher selves and their deeper selves their true honest original authentic selves okay so let's look what they're saying And so those of you who said about changing the layout of the cards, I have done so that everyone doesn't pick number three. Because <laughs> it's the one that sticks out. Hi, number ones. How are you doing? Right, so their holiday message for you. They're the wrong way around. I saw this one come out first, so I've got them the wrong way around. Right, so what's going on with them? Their holiday message for you. Things have been hard, haven't they? Number one, things have been difficult. Their holiday message for you, it, it looks, looks, doesn't it? When I saw this, I thought, wow, that's a cheerful holiday message. Ten of Swords, it's the worst card in the deck. How has that happened? <laughs> yeah, but it's not bad. It's not bad because what their holiday message is, the worst's over. It's been really hard, hasn't it? It's been really difficult. There's been a lot of pain. There's, it's really hit rock bottom. It really has hit rock bottom. Things have been so painful, so difficult. It's felt like nothing was going to work. Nothing was going to happen. You know, things were just really, really difficult. And they know this. They, they're saying it's been so hard for you. But things are moving forwards, number ones. Things are moving forwards. Eight of ones. You're going to see a rapid movement forwards. It's going to be really, really positive and you're going to feel so much better soon. You know, things are moving. There's some, some of you have been waiting for some sort of situation regards this person to end. And there's an ending is coming. Because this is the death card, but it's not literal death. Don't panic. It's the end of something. And the start of something new. And they're saying it's not. They're saying it's moving on from something terrible to an ending. So it's, posit it's positive. Because this difficult situation that's caused you so much pain and suffering. With regards to them probably. It's coming to an end. You know and there's something is ending. So something beautiful and new can begin. So. This holiday season is really going to be great for you guys because they're saying that there's a chance for something to renew and their message for you is to let yourself receive, you know, that you, oh, that's not focusing why I don't really know, it's annoying, hello, oh, there we go. Oh, it's doing it again. Oh, well, whatever. I'll just read it. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. You need to let yourself receive, guys. They're asking you to be open to receiving. And they're not saying that they've been trying to give to you and you haven't been paying attention because we know that's not what's been going on. No. But what they're saying is now is the time to be open to receiving and look forwards. 
look forwards because things are going to improve keep going look forwards there's a new beginning trying to happen here so this is what their their higher selves wants to tell you that something great is going to transform even though it's been really difficult the you know the new year will bring with it so many you know positive changes so look forwards be open to receiving for this new phase thank you guys thank you so much number ones i'll see you tomorrow or on a private reading hi number twos how are you doing so what is their holiday message for you here we go so their holiday <laughs> their holiday message for you is that <laughs> Again, a little bit like number ones, but not entirely surprising. They're kind of higher selves of number one and this one are saying kind of, you know, stay with me here. I know it's been hard. I know it's been difficult. Thank you for being wonderful. But then at the same time, I think if you majority of you, not all of you, of course, but the majority of you, of you if you were in a fantastic relationship where everything was going swimmingly you possibly wouldn't be here asking me what's going on so it's not entirely surprising that they are a bit apologetic you know your person is trying to manifest a better situation their message for you is that they are trying to manifest a better situation they are trying to make things better um they're struggling a little bit with it at the minute i think you know because we've still got this five of cups energy you know they're still trying to get over something they're trying to get over something they can't see the two cups behind them they can't see the two of cups they can only see the three spilled cups. They're grieving something. They're getting over something. They're trying to manifest a better situation. They're trying to manifest something to help move on from this. They, and, and they're also saying that this is you as well. They're trying to stop this situation because there's a lot of sad emotion around number twos. There's some things have happened that have caused you a lot of pain. They're saying really this is you. But also them, they've had a situation. But because they've had a situation, it's caused you trouble as well. But they see you as the queen of wands, which is for a lot of them, You, for a lot of the this person. Hang on. What am I saying? It doesn't make any sense. For a lot of you, your person thinks of you as their divine feminine. Finally, it came out right. <laughs> yeah. So, because for me in the court cards and the minor arcana this is the divine feminine and there is a sense of this beautiful inspiring inspired woman who's very balanced who's ready to receive you know and that they are trying to manifest a better situation that's their main message that they are trying to come into that balance. They are trying to bring that into their practical everyday world. They're trying to balance their situations, all four suits, so that they can manifest. Because they want to move on from this. And they want to be able to, you to be able to move on from this. Um, they're asking you to stay positive. Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. I think a lot of you, because this person has failed to manifest <laughs> the situation they either promised or indicated or you felt energetically was happening and then it didn't. You know, there's a whole lot of crying over spilled milk. But they're saying that's kind of 
in the grander scale of life it's crying over spilt milk but at the minute or at the time when it happened it didn't feel like that it felt really bad and you know they're just saying they know that and it's been difficult but they do see you as this wonderful wonderful person male or female doesn't matter if that it's a queen this is someone who is really is very strongly they're saying strongly inspiring which doesn't really make a great deal of sense but you know what i mean but you do need to be stay positive i'm not always an advocate of i'm not an advocate of always staying positive i don't agree with always staying positive but it, they're saying at the moment it is important to focus on what you desire not what you fear and stick with it stick with it don't give up just yet that's their message for the holiday season you don't have to listen <laughs> it's up to you what you do but their message is they know they've caused some pain they're trying to manifest a better situation please just you know think about what you want in the situation and just stick with them for a little bit longer but of course as i always say it's uh i'm always a bit cautious with the whole weight thing it's up to you but that's their message for you this week guys i love you so much i'll see you tomorrow or on a private reading please like and subscribe i haven't said that today please like and subscribe hi number threes how are you so their holiday message for you don't sweat the small stuff rest oh i like that they go together really nicely actually they've all gone together really nicely today justice the world four of swords okay four of swords and rest i love it <laughs> yeah okay number three is their holiday message for you is that the right thing is happening there's positive karma here the right thing is happening whatever's going on with you guys the right thing is happening and this situation is going to complete and resolve so if you are in separation or you've been waiting for some commitment or you've been waiting for things to move to the next level or things haven't really seemed to be working out and things have been stressing you out or difficult you do not need to sweat the small stuff you don't need to worry about it because this is small stuff this situation is completing you don't need to worry there's a sense of the right thing happening and completion the world a positive completion a completion that involves abundance getting more of what you want moving to that next level taking things further a sense that the, you know the whole world's at your feet you've completed the fool's journey you've completed this kind of level you know if you were in a computer game it would be like you move to the next level you know so they're saying their message for you is that things are working out and you know it might take a little bit more time but things are going to work out so don't sweat the small stuff. Don't worry about it. Have a break this holiday season. They're saying stop stressing out. Have a rest. Take a break. Because when you rest, you will reflect and able, you'll be able to digest what's happened and what's going on. And it will bring greater clarity and understanding. They're saying as well that you've been working really hard and you need to take a nap and get some rest. So this holiday season, they're saying, do you know what? You don't need to worry because things are working out. You just need to take a great big rest and allow positive karma and what's right. Justice will prevail over the holiday season. Justice will prevail and the world will, it, the justice card will make sure that things complete in the way they're supposed to, that the right things happen, that the, that the right thing happens okay so you don't need to worry threes i really love that message it's super short but that's their message for you and i think the fact that they're so clear on this obviously this has to filter to their through to their personality selves as well and some of them have got more challenges than others and i understand that you know but the reality is that when you've got this double major arcana and they're both so strong of like a positive outcome because both of these are a positive outcome um, and and a strong sense of like karma and something changing and something moving forwards and something developing so guys i think there's a strong sense in them of the right thing moving forwards and and they're really very reassuring to you as well take a break don't worry it's all going to be okay 
there's a real sense of them stepping up and taking some sort of responsibility for the situation which i really love and they're asking you to to receive and step back and to not worry so i love this message for you guys i hope you have an amazing day and i'll see you tomorrow